I'm making a summer tart because it's summer. <laughs> I have these amazing sugar plums. I think that's what they are. They, they look like this. They're so cute. <laughs> the crust that I'm gonna be using for this because it's kind of going to be a rustic kind of tart is actually the crust from my pizza gain recipe, which is on my website. We're gonna do that. I'm gonna make the crust for it, the dough part. And you're going to need a KitchenAid mixer. I already went ahead and started mixing my vegan egg in the bowl here. So that's what we've got going on. And it's sitting to the side, whisking. It's sitting to the side and just getting kind of like thick and goopy. <laughs> so that's over here. And then while that's sitting, I'm gonna add all my dry ingredients. Flour, baking powder, and sugar. We're gonna add that in right now. And I have this recipe listed, so you're just gonna kind of watch me. I don't know what this move is. <laughs> you're just gonna kind of watch me, and yeah, so. <laughs> So I have all my dry ingredients in here and I'm just gonna mix them together. Then we're gonna go ahead and add a softened stick of butter and like some of the other wet ingredients as well as this egg guy here, which is pretty much good to go at this point. Yeah, yeah. Consistency is good to go. I'm gonna take this off of this whisk thing, wrap it in some plastic wrap, and just put it in the fridge for about 30 minutes. Listen, I realize that I'm not like a professional baker. I know this probably looks different if you're somebody who does know what they're doing with baking. Um, it was still a little sticky. I probably could have added some flour. It will probably stick to this paper because I probably should have put flour on it. But, and I didn't roll it into a ball. But honestly, this is realistic for me. I'm gonna throw this in the fridge just as it is. And um, yeah, we're gonna just work from there. I'm gonna start making the filling for this plum tart thing that I'm making. And um, if I haven't mentioned yet, <laughs> this is a sugar plum tart. So it's like stone fruits wrapped in this dough, which is a little more rustic than like a pie or a tart that you might normally think of. So I'm gonna refrigerate this, start making the filling and yeah. First thing I'm gonna do is give these guys a little bath. probably just in half, and then toss them into a bowl with some brown sugar. I'm going to make like a spread to put underneath the fruit, and it's gonna be based with dates and fig jam. I'm gonna blend it in my food processor. I already soaked the dates overnight. We've got them in the food processor. I'm gonna take you over there. <laughs> Again, all of this will be listed so that you can reference it and do it on your own. Time to take out the dough, spread that bad boy out, and put all this stuff on it. For the rolling out process of this, you can actually reference my pizza gain video because it's pretty messy and I'm gonna shut my camera off. The dough is spread out. I'm gonna take this filling and spread it across and then top it with the fruits. So basically, spread out like a big pizza. <laughs> I put on the fig date filling thing and now I'm going to add those guys. We're gonna try to find a way to get this onto like a cookie sheet <laughs> and then bake it. 
didn't think about this part. <laughs> I'll explain how to do it correctly. <laughs> Update on the tart that's been the biggest pain in the ass of my life. <laughs> I went and taught a class, ran some errands, the tart was cooling on the stove. My dad came home and decided to eat a piece, which is normally okay. <laughs> but I didn't put a note because I didn't know he was coming home, so he ate that piece. <laughs> Luckily, I can push it together to photograph it, but moral of the story is you gotta go with the flow. <laughs> and I was kind of upset at first, but it's gonna be okay. So I'm gonna photograph this. He said it was delicious. I haven't tried it yet, but 